This is it, Kiryu-san. Our old Ichinsho staple. The name's a bit weird, and the owner hardly ever cracks a smile. But he's a good guy. It's also the only karaoke bar left. <laughs> At least that we like. Hey, Barkeep! Got a new customer for you. <laughs> Our friend here is Taichi Suzuki. <sighs> You two, uh, know each other? <laughs> no, I... Imagine he mistook me for someone else. In any case, Survive's glad to have you, Suzuki-san. Uh, you good? Actually, I had a friend who looked just like him. For a moment, I thought... I thought he had come back. My apologies, sir. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. With a face like mine, this sort of thing happens all the time. <laughs> you think those two are just acting? It's hard for me to say. Sounds like a simple mix-up to me. I... We came here to sing, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Sure, help yourselves. Consider the place yours tonight. As a matter of fact, nothing would please me more. Thank you, truly. Hmm. You fell down, you got hurt chasing sweeter dreams. No, you know, I wasn't sure how things would end up in Hawaii, but at least Kiryu-san seems to be doing better over here. Sunny, Sachan, it's all thanks to you too. No need to thank me, Nanchan. You know I'm happy to help. And I'll do everything I can for him on my end. Call it a debt of gratitude if you want. Right on. We all owe Kiryu-san a lot, especially those of us from Ijinsha. But more than anything, if there's even a slight chance he'll make it, I personally want to see him get there. And I'm glad you both are here. Because, to be honest, there's too much to bear on my own. Memories of you Twisting my view I've been a fool Kiryu-san, that was great! Uh, yeah, top-notch stuff. So the rumors are true. The Dragon of Dojima can carry a tune and then some. Seems to me you guys weren't even listening. Are you kidding? Of course we were. Well, I guess I just have a voice nobody wants to hear anymore. <laughs> but we really were listening. All right, who's up? The song's starting. Hmm, now how'd that happen? Huh? If no one's taking it, I will. Who did that on purpose? We're starving dogs running the rail lines. Well, he's clearly feeling it. I say we back him up. Give it all you got. Yeah! We're breaking hey, the hey, law. Hey, hey, breaking hey, hey, the world hey, hey, together. High. Our fists race till we die. We're living by our own judgment. I need to take this. All right, just don't be gone too long. Curious son, was this a good idea or what? I'm having the time of my life. Me too. Oh, bartender, can you fill us up? 
Hey, it's me, what is it? This better be important. I told you I'm out on the town tonight. I know that, but what do you expect? This is Kiryu-san I'm with, my lifelong hero. Yo, Sunny, what happened? You look pissed all of a sudden. Do I? I'm sure it's just your imagination. I take it you have business to attend to? Wait, are you for real? What is more important than living it up with Kiryu-san? Well, it was nothing urgent. That said, I did receive some rather troubling news. A buzzkill or not, can you tell us? The Siryu clan's behaving oddly. They're recruiting, and their numbers are getting bigger by the day. Huh? Wait, don't tell me that's what this is all about. You guys are the Komichul here. <laughs> See, Ebina, the clan captain, is cooking up something called the Second Great Dissolution. He's even rallying the former Tojo clan and all these other groups to take part. That's right. Kasuga told me about that. To build a safe haven for all the ex-Yakuza roaming about. Supposedly, that's his big objective. Those with nowhere to turn can swear up for a time, in exchange for stable work. The waste management they do down by the docks is one example. You could almost say it's an expansion of what Kasuga was doing with Hello Work. What the heck? So you knew all along. The thing is, some of those ex-Yakuza joining up with the Seiryu, they had already gotten their lives back together. And it's not just a handful. I'm talking by the hundred. What? Why would that happen? If they were able to find jobs and all, what would even make the Seiryu clan appealing? Well, whatever's going on, I'm guessing Ebina's big plan is nothing more than a smokescreen for something else. And what his real goals are, remain a mystery. You really think that's accurate? Honestly, I'm a little insulted. You're talking to the brain behind the Komi Jewel here. Well, sure, but still, there could be some other factors at play. Maybe those Yakuza went clean only to realize the rat race was just as dirty above ground. True, I can't account for details on every single situation out there, but it's the overall pattern of movement that concerns me. The Seiryu clan's also pulling their waste operation out of Yokohama, and they're pulling right into Hawaii. Hawaii? Yep. All their fresh recruits are packing their bags and heading overseas as we speak. You were there just recently, as I recall. Could this be a mere coincidence? Or maybe there's a deeper connection here. What is it with that place? Why is everything going down there at once? Does anyone in the Seiryu clan have some sort of Hawaiian affiliation? Actually, think about why Kasuga is there in the first place. Oh, that's right. It was Sawashiro. Not only was he a former captain, he was Arakawa's right-hand man. What's more, he kept the secret that Akane-san's been alive all this time. And now he's risen to the top of the Seiryu clan, right next to Ebina. Then it looks like I've got something to add to that bucket list. Make Sawashiro tell us what he knows. That's one way to use a bucket list. Seiryu Clan HQ is not far from here, right? It's not, but as of now, most of their officers are gone, including Sawashiro. They started a branch office about a week ago to accommodate all the new recruits. If you want to pay them a visit, I can take you over there tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh. 
Hey there. ありがとうございます。Ah, impressive stuff. Hey, Sonny. He. Here you, son. Came here for a drink, did you? They say booze is the best medicine. <laughs> I don't need to hear your excuses. What you drink is none of my business, after all. I won't comment. Appreciate it. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. Ah, oh, still, I can hardly believe it. The Kazuma Kiryu comes wandering in and sits next to me for a drink. How surreal. It's not that big a deal. I'm just a middle-aged man with graying hair. But you, you're not just the head of the Komi Jewel. You took command of the Yokohama Liumang as well. And all your subordinates have entrusted you with their lives. It must be a heavy burden to bear. Huh. You flatter me. 
That was a burden I've abandoned. Oh yeah, right. That. About 20 years ago, you retired right after becoming the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Had you not, I wonder if the Tojo clan would have turned out any differently. Hmm, who can say? But the Tojo clan would have disbanded regardless. The times have changed. And I doubt I'd be able to do a single thing about it. Not by myself. If anything, were I still at the top, the Tojo clan might have disbanded much sooner. I didn't have it in me to lead. Do you really think so? Because the way I see it, you just dislike being part of the herd. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you? Oh, I meant no disrespect. It's fine. I wasn't offended. It was actually quite refreshing. Only the head of an organization could speak so bluntly. So long as the underworld abides by its own laws, being the head doesn't mean much. And if someone gets any bright ideas, then all I have to do is stare them down. That's basically everything in the job description. Easy, right? You don't like showing any sort of weakness, do you? The fact that you've managed to shoulder such a heavy burden while keeping your cool is quite impressive, honestly. <laughs> People tell me that all the time, but it's really not that hard. I enjoy what I do and the position I hold. Of course, it was challenging at the start, but I didn't need any training to learn a thing or two about leadership. You were the right person for the job. Both the Komi Jewel and the Liumang are lucky to have you as their leader. <laughs> I'm honored you think so. You good on time? Oh, there's no way I'm calling it quits when you're still drinking, Kirusan. I'll hang on for as long as I can. Do you always go this hard? Your subordinates must have a tough time keeping up. <laughs> Power harassment is a prominent concern in the underground these days. I never force a subordinate to drink. I won't deny that there's merit in ruling by fear, but you won't last for long with that alone. That all makes sense. It's becoming more and more apparent that you're a natural-born leader. That reminds me, does Komijul still monitor the whole town? All the information you've extracted is the source of Komijul's power, am I right? Right, but it's not like I keep track of every little detail. One of my rules is that my confidant only brings me crucial information. And by confidant, you mean Jungi Han? Of course. He's a very capable man, and one of unwavering loyalty at that. I'd say he's the perfect right-hand man, if only he weren't so snarky. <laughs> but there are others I consider my confidants. Some are even from my father's generation. Hmm, your father's generation, huh? Must be close to my age, then. You're right. The elders of the organization are like my great and wise uncles. Every now and then, I'll get an earful from them. So even you have something you're afraid of. They were part of the Jingon Mafia before Komi Jewel. Back in their prime, they had a healthy rivalry with the Tojo clan. Probably a little before you made a name for yourself. I've heard a lot about your heroics, so having someone like you sit right next to me is sort of unnerving. What was that? Oh, um, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. The former Jingon Mafia. I hope they don't disapprove of you siding with me. Well, I'm not sure myself how they feel about all this, but even if they do disapprove, I can take care of it. I wouldn't worry about those old gents. After all, what I say goes. I guess I really can count on you for anything. I'll let you handle it then. <laughs> Perfect. That's all I ask for. Feel free to rely on me anytime. Nothing would bring me greater joy. 
All right. Thanks, Anhe. Glad to have you on my side. Ijincho has been a little too quiet lately. I was honestly hoping for some excitement. Now, with you in town, things are bound to get interesting. Hold on. Are you expecting something dangerous to happen? Not necessarily. A toast, Kiryu-san? Let me welcome you to my town once more. Of course. Welcome to Ijincho, Kazuma Kiryu. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's enjoying herself. Oh, was that the impression you got? It was indeed. Well, just between you and me, I was a nervous wreck. I mean, he's the dragon of Dojima. A living, breathing legend, leagues above me in the underworld. I can't afford to look stupid in front of Kiryu-san, especially as a representative of Ijincho. <gasps> Did I say anything weird to him? Not as far as I know. All right. I won't dwell on it if you say so. <laughs> and I do say so. Imagine me drinking with the Kazuma Kiryu. Just the two of us. Guess I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Hey, Namba. Mind if I join you? Ah, be my guest. Nobody likes drinking alone. Oh, I guess curious, son. Didn't we talk about this? I'm sorry you have to look after me. That's what it is. Once a nurse, you know. Besides, if it's any better, Ichiban made me promise to look after you, too. Understood. I can stay dry. Tonight, oolong tea only. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. Bartender! So what was it I heard about you all losing your jobs? Hmm, that's right, huh? Me, Ichiban, and Adachi-san, we all got the axe. Did you know I was homeless for a period of time? Once you hit a certain age, the job market dries up. Somehow I got this gig, even with my employment gap. And then, poof, it was gone. What kind of job was it? Quality inspector. A warehouse for medical equipment. Medicine drew you back in, after all. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to consider that medicine. Uh, there were a couple of other stints, but it was all day labor or temp work. The inspection job came with a two-year contract. And my co-workers were decent folks. They actually treated me with a bit of respect for being an old guy. There's no need to put yourself down. Old or not, you've helped me plenty. I completely understand why they'd respect you. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna make me tear up. No need for that either. I'm just grateful. That's all. Oh, jeez, enough. I'm tapping out. We're too sober to be so heartfelt. Well, I can sympathize with how hard it is to find a job at our age. Losing it on top of everything else is a real shame. The thing is, if you don't mind me saying, it wasn't just the young guys. There was this girl there. Look at you. You're about to blush. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, can't blame a man for that, right? She was a little bit careless. She'd make tiny errors here and there. Whenever I'd catch one for her, she'd say, Namasan, what would I do without you? <laughs> Must have been a pleasant working environment. Hey, I wasn't after anything, okay? I understand. You don't seem like that type. Sheesh. 
Listen to me, the point is, might have been a simple job, but it was enough for me. I did good work and I had good colleagues. That's all a guy really needs, isn't it? Especially a homeless guy. For a fresh start, he couldn't ask for better. And then, they just pulled me aside and said my contract's up. Don't come back tomorrow. Do they give you a reason? Couldn't be asked to. If they don't extend your deal, that's the long and short of it. That's hardly fair. Yep. Yeah. So, I went back home, and Ichiban was suddenly all over the internet. Guess I'd made no secret of the fact that I was friends with the hero of Yokohama. Higher-ups must have thought, eh, gotta sweep me under the rug before this shitstorm hits. Kasuga got targeted and you took a stray one. Of course, I don't hold it against him or anything. Ichiban, Adachi-san, we were all set up. As far as I'm concerned, the three of us will always be in this together. You're a remarkable fellow. Not everyone can be so forgiving. Kasuga chooses his friends well. Uh, all this talk should tell you I'm nothing special. Just an old fool. From one old fool to another, I think you're better than you realize. All this talk about you trying to get things back on track. I'm sorry you're saddled with me. Come on. You know it's not like that. Ichiban only asked me to see you home from Hawaii. It's my decision to stick around and have your back. So no more worrying that you're a burden. I'm the one who's embarrassed here. If you say so. I'm grateful. <laughs> so, how about we finish off with a toast? To knocking back tea! <laughs> I'll sip to that. Hey, Sonny. Is this seat open? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. As you can see. Something the matter? You look a little down. Oh, pff, don't mind me. It's nothing you need to be concerned about, Kiryu-san. All right. I'll just wait until you feel like talking about the thing I shouldn't be concerned about. Don't mind me. <sighs> so that's how we're doing this? There's no winning with you, is there? I see. So your officers, these great and wise uncles of yours, are acting suspiciously whenever you're not looking. Yeah, basically. A lot of people in Comey Jewel, the younger members in particular, have been complaining to me, saying they don't know what to do. The elders put up a front when I'm around, but when something goes sideways, they take it out on their younger subordinates. It's unbelievable. If they have a problem with how I run things, then they should say it to my face. It's hard, having to deal with subordinates who are older than you or who may even have more experience. Seems like the Queen of Comey Jewel has some troubles of her own. It, it, it's a minor issue, and a personal one at that. It's really nothing you should be concerned about. Those officers are around my age, aren't they? I could lend you a hand if you need it. Oh, no, 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 please don't. <laughs> I am not saying another word so I can at least preserve what's left of my people's dignity. We're on the same team now, so there's no need to go about things alone. Just how long are you going to treat me as a guest? Uh, well, for as long as I'm the face of this town. But I'm happy you consider us allies. Oh, happy is an understatement. I am over the damn moon right now. Hmm? What was that? I didn't catch that last bit. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Not only are you my guest, but you know, you're also sick. You should put your health first and foremost. 
Mm, went straight for the jugular there. There once were three organizations that kept a close eye on this town. Komi Jewel, the Leo Mong, and the Seiryu clan. While it may have looked like a three-way power struggle on the surface, it was actually intended to prevent outside forces from entering. Compared to the past, Ijincho seems a bit too relaxed nowadays. I suppose as a side effect of the ongoing peace. There's not much I can do about that, but my reputation would take a major hit if you're caught worrying. Yeah, I hear you. Guess that means there's nothing more I can say. I, <laughs> maybe the alcohol's getting to me. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off so persistent. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Perhaps I'm in no position to say this, but... Hmm? I prefer how Ijin Cho is now over how it was before. Even the Komi Jewel bunch has become quite social these days. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have. <laughs> yeah, I hear they actually started saying hi to people on the streets. With some of them, of course, not all. Komi Jewel used to have this image of being a secret organization that was always out of sight. Without any rivals around, like the Tojo clan or the Omi Alliance, they're probably enjoying the peace while it lasts. <laughs> I see. Oh, thanks for that, Barkeep. I prefer Ijincho the way it is now, too. Actually, that reminds me. An old regular from Komi Jewel gave me this. What is it? A mask worn by members of our organization. It's modeled after the ones used in traditional Korean performances. We would hide behind a mask whenever we had to get our hands dirty. Right. But the owner of this mask said it's been a long time since he's had to wear it. Eventually, he amicably cut ties with the organization, got married, settled down in this town. He left this mask at the bar, saying he was turning over a new leaf. Looks like Komi Jewel's going through some changes. Still, he shouldn't have given this mask away, much less to an outsider. Maybe I should tighten up operations. It's the boss's job to keep a tight leash on things. I won't comment on whatever you have to do. <laughs> no need to be so serious. I was just kidding. We ended things on a peaceful note. If I started harassing him now, it just hurt my credibility. Oh, good. For a second, I thought we'd all end up in trouble just because the bartender snitched. Yeah, same here. Hmm. These drinks taste even better when I'm with you, Kiryu-san. I was thinking the same thing. I'm supposed to be dead, so... I never thought I'd be able to enjoy a drink like this again. That's why I'm savoring every glass. Because I have a friend to drink with. A friend? You consider me your friend? Of course. Unless that's a problem. Uh, oh, not at all. I'm honored. Hey. Hey there, curious son. Mind a bit of company again? Happily. But, you know, 
No alcohol, right? Understood. Hmm. Oolong here isn't bad. You looked lost than thought a moment ago. Eh, maybe. More crap with no easy fix. No simple answers? Well, I'm all ears. You sure? I mean, I don't want to weigh you down. No need to hold back, it's just us. You can always confide in me. Whoa. Okay, I appreciate that, but everything you say sounds so dramatic. Maybe so. Well, I'm here if you'd like to chat. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. Anyway, how's it going? I guess I was thinking... No, remembering's more like it. My last job, my colleagues there had a send-off for me. Ah, that was that job inspecting medical equipment? Hey, you remembered. Yeah, that's the one. A whole bunch of them got together, but the mood was dead. Everyone was afraid they'd be next. <sighs> Times are tough out there. Yep. Oh, hey, uh, remember that girl I mentioned? The clumsy one? Of course. You seem to like talking about her. Ah, oh, jeez. I wanted to show you we took a picture together that day. There she is. That's her, Miyabi-chan, making the peace sign. You know, she cried when I left. Sounds like a sweet girl. At which point, she wiped the tears away and made sure to tell me we were strictly just friends. Sweet, but not naive. She started out as a secretary. I swear, she could get any man she wanted. Must have been a good environment. Looks that way in the picture. Yeah. They all said they had no idea why the company was letting me go. They didn't know Ichiban's little PR emergency had anything to do with someone like me. So I kept my mouth shut and stayed quiet. It was sad, but at least they paid for my drinks. Okay, so why is it you're thinking back on that day now? Uh, the truth is, I should be out looking for a new job. I can't bring myself to, though. Ichiban and Adachi-san, meanwhile, have had to sacrifice way more than I have in all this. When they've got it worse, it's embarrassing to feel so disheartened. That makes sense? You lost something important. It's all right to be upset. A lot of people never even find one good job with a cute, clumsy girl. Ugh, why did I tell you about her at all? <laughs> Only kidding. Still, it was nice to hear some energy out of you just now. Damn it. You got me there. Anyway, uh, Ichiban and you have really earned my gratitude. Why do you say that? Well, I was unemployed, with no prospects out there. I think I finally realized that the world goes on just the same, with or without me. And then, when I needed it, Ichiban came calling to me for help. Not only that, I even got to lend my assistance to you, Kiryu-san. Being useful, to me, it feels like... salvation. I get it. In that case, I won't be shy if I ever need anything from here on. Good. I'm here for you.
社会ってもの教えてやる。Bring it on. It's my turn. I'm not backing down. What's the one about? Fight. Oh. やる気あるの Something wrong? In for the kill! You asked for it. <laughs> Allow me. Now then, you're gonna get stomped. Get serious. Get up, that's who I am. Time to put you down. Take this. Yeah. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. What's the holdup? You want some? I'm gonna kick your ass. You picked the wrong opponent. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Learning more every day. Let's get soba. And so we reach an impasse. Curious, son. How about you make the call? Huh? Ramen sound good? Soba all the way, yeah? <laughs> Ramen, I guess. You. Why? <laughs> I knew you were a man of taste, Kiryu san. Miso ramen, with butter on top. The butter melts into the broth like cream. The coats, the noodles, and the chashu. Perfect for cold winter nights. Huh. <laughs> okay. Ramen it is. Well, that was easy. Curious, son. Ever think about being a food critic? Why? I was just trying to explain my decision. I wish I could describe things the way you can. Like, a modern revolution in noodles and soup. You know, sometimes it's less about what's being said than who's saying. What's that supposed to mean? Namba, let's just get some food. What's the holdup? 
They didn't stand a chance. Whew. We should relish this moment. Yes! Let's dig in.
Quick! What's the hold up? You're gonna get stopped. Here we go. Allow me. You want some? Okay. I'll take you on. Right. Something wrong? You want to fight? What's the hold up? Huh. Try this on your side. Wrong opponent. <laughs> Running around town like this together is a great way to make up for my lack of exercise. You don't usually exercise, some heat? Well, I keep up with training so that I don't get rusty, of course. But as the head of an organization, I spend a lot of time sitting in meetings or at a desk. Seems even the leader of Komijul can't escape desk work. That's exactly why I try to find moments to exercise during everyday activities. Taking advantage of those early morning radio exercises fosters a nice, disciplined life. Hmm. That is very disciplined. Good on you for waking up so early. Well, when I sleep in, I just use a recording and work out in the afternoon. Uh, what about that is disciplined? Things are going well. Our bond's getting deeper. Nothing beats fresh baked bread. That said, I've been buying it less and less these days. Did you get bored, you think? 
Oh, no. It's just that I recently got myself a bread maker, so I've been really into that instead. A bread maker? So you've been baking your own? The newest ones are pretty amazing. They knead, ferment, and bake all on their own. You can even adjust the fermentation time to change the texture of the bread. Oh, okay. And by tuning the temperature, you can change up how soft you want your crust. Oh, there's a great deal on it right now, too, and it even comes with a cashback. Have you ever thought about writing commercials? Huh? All right. Bring it on! It's my turn. You're gonna get stopped. Hmm. All right, let's finish it together. We only need one Naturally. shot. Right. What's the holdup? I won't hold back. <laughs> Yeah. Clear and that's the end. Did you really think you'd win? Oh, hey, the vintage theater closed down. I know. I was pretty fond of it. They really knew their stuff. Yeah, I would go there too. That's too bad. Their three month long sharks on screen extravaganza challenge was great. Must have been some challenge. You're telling me there's enough shark movies to last three months? Sure are. I'd never joke about sharks. Huh. Noted. Must be hard to sift through all of them. Any recommendations? A more recent one's got evil Martian sharks battling Earth sharks in New York. Classic setup, but really enjoyable nonetheless. Define classic. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff out there now. Yeah, maybe too much. A new one just premiered where the sharks were actually in the water. The audience went nuts. Uh, define shark. Found it. Picture perfect. <sighs> Good warm up. I'm ready. Let's do it. Huh? I'll Around me. Hmm. Yeah. What's the hold up? Watch this. Hope this hurts. Here we go. Now then. Something wrong? Ah. We. Check this out. Here we go. Take you there, picked fight. the wrong opponent.
You picked the wrong opponent. Hell yeah! An important decision. Hmm, what's in this season? make this work? I don't know about this. How are you meant to choose? Now, what about this with those shoes? An important decision.
Bring it on. I won't hold back. It's my turn. I'm not backing down. Something wrong? Oh, I know. In for the kill! Disgusting. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have a winner. Did you really think you'd win? <sighs> There's more where this came from. <laughs> okay. Hamako-san? Well, if it isn't Sayako. How's business? Breaking in the cash, on? Huh? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. Eh, not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name is Taichi Suzuki. Come on now. What's with the fake name? Huh? Uh, what fake name? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. That awkward introduction of yours made it so obvious. Was it really that awkward? Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Everyone's already in the know about your alias. Fine then. I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town and you'll end up just like me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. So what's the story? You girls dump Ichiban for a new man? Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. Enough of that. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. Oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? And how do you know Ichiban? How should I put this? Uh, the two of us used to work for the same company. Although we never met back then. Ichiban really respects Suzuki-san. Oh, right, the two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh. You guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right then, Suzuki-san. Why don't you stay a while? Have some tea with me. Just you and me? What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? All right. Let's have that cup of tea. Now we're talking. Head on upstairs. I'll get everything ready. Is this your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls. But if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, I'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We're what society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Rio Aoki? 
A few years back, he came to a Jean show. He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, could live there free of charge and get job training. Sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Ryo Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the Grey Zones and everyone in it. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. Now they were all arrested and deported. The ones working here now are all new. The kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. That's why they stay here in the Jean Show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you had no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me, but I still went and got myself fooled. <laughs> I even yelled at Ichiban, telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. You're not the one at fault, Hamako san. It's Rio Aoki. I know that, sure. But. Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. <laughs> now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? <laughs> Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And you were with him until recently. Anyway, did he say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? Sorry, this is the first time I've heard about this. But as far as I know, he's not the type of guy who'd bear a grudge. If you really did offend him, wouldn't he just call you out? Yeah, maybe so. I don't think it's anything you need to worry about, though. Sorry for taking up your time on my petty little issues. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. Even if you want to forget, you can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're always gonna have unfinished business. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. Sometimes, getting closure is for the better. It's easy to keep putting things off. Until one day you're told your time's up. Wait, what? Back up. I is something wrong with your health? Earlier you said your issues were petty. But that can't be further from the truth. You never know if your time with friends and family might be cut short. So make every moment count. If it's really getting under your skin, then if I were you, I'd just apologize. 
think I get why you've got Sayako and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. They're doing what? <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? <laughs> well, at any rate, I do feel better after talking to you, Suzuki-san. Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. <laughs> Glad to hear. Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. Now don't tell Psycho or anyone about this, you hear? After all, I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. So I can't have them think I've gone soft. Don't worry, I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Taichi Suzuki, was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, he must be a great man. Arigat. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
らっしゃいませ Found it. Picture perfect. Bring it on. Follow my lead. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Whew. We should relish this moment. Yes! No problem so far. Follow my lead. Wrong opponent. <sighs> There's more where this came from. Whew. We should relish this moment. <laughs> okay. Oh, this place gives you bonus points if you use contactless payments. Contactless? I've heard of that, but I don't know too much about it. You put money into a smartphone app and pay through that. You can do all your shopping with just your phone, and you usually get points, so it's pretty handy. The only problem is not every store takes the same type, so I've loaded up eight different brands to be safe. Huh. You sure handy's the right word? Things are going well.
気に入らないな本気で行きますよ見事だ Follow my lead Clever. There's more where this came from. How curious. Yes. Huh. No kidding. <laughs> Boring. Whew. We should relish this moment. How curious. Huh. Surprisingly clever. いらっしゃいませ。Let's dig in. Let's deal with you. Thanks for buying. That was great. Certainly, food. Thank you very much.
Kiryu-san. Is this where? The Sari you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. Guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are, the new owners. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Hear you, son. Maybe hang back for now. If you get caught here, it's all over. The well, same for Sunny, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanba. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so, uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Ah, oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides, uh, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Well, then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina-san? You know, your captain? Why, me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. 
It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. Is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've got some more fight in me. Ho No. Excuse me. Ha ho. Right.
Excuse me. Not a scratch. Mm. It's you. Well now, maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. If I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on, take a seat. <laughs> Curious, son. I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse you? <laughs> that chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense, but you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! It's all right, Narasaki. <sighs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Let's try this again. Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? I see the Seiryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhi here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. 
There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. That would be Palekana, a local religious group. What? Palekana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Ekane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nele Island. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society, <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nele Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palakana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polykana understands this as well. Never guess religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. So whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seriyu clan. Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polykana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So, you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Well... That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polykana once again. What would you do if Polykana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. Yeah, let's hope that's possible.
Well, we sure showed their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Polykana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I suppose. By the way, you think up anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking. But I want to pay my respects. To some people who were close to me. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah. Let's catch a taxi. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones and talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask, who were these people? Well, they're my family. Of course, none of us are blood related, but it's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Every time I come here, I get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was gonna die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, and who do I see? <laughs> Almost like Kazuma himself had a hand in it. Date-san. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddies there are safe. Oh, yeah. An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu-san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? No. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhi, the so-called face of Ijincho. <laughs> Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> I think we'll be heading back, Kiryu-san. You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry, didn't mean to scare off your new pals. But hey, what are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Sure. Been so long since the two of us have had a sip, I figured it ought to be here. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. 
Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Greedy old drunk. You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. You're getting thin. I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold a Guinness World Record. So, uh, is it that bad? Yeah. And when the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daidoji faction. In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. Her name's Lani. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? Well, with the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. At least according to Namba and them. Sure. But you've never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind. Now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. But what stopped me in the end was actually something you told me. I said something that important? You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? I figured that must be what's pushing me still. <laughs> in that case, you can't clock out just yet. After all, you want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's the spirit. Welcome back, curious son. Hey, how much were you drinking? Not much. Only had one glass. So was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Of course it is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. I see you're not gonna go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuga's apartment. 